Candy Williamson of Massage by Candy, and I wanted to give you an accessible daily upper body stretching video. So, just starting off really simple. I want you to just roll your neck, bring it around, go nice and slow. Just really feel into the muscles. Let everything drop down. Come back up. We're gonna rotate. Keep going. This isn't gonna take too long. We just wanna warm this up before we get into some stretches. So you're gonna drop your right hand, bring your head to your left shoulder. You're gonna open up the side of the neck. Just breathe into this, feel the stretch. So it's almost like your hands reaching towards the ground. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your chin and you're gonna rotate it to the ground. You're gonna feel that stretch move backwards. Keep opening up that neck. If you get headaches, if you feel like your head is jammed on your body because your neck is so tight, this is a great way to open that up, bring space. Bring space into your neck, bring movement back into your neck. You're gonna come up, you're gonna drop your ear to the other side, reach down. Do the same thing on both sides. Even if one side feels tighter than the other, hold them both for the same amount of time. Just breathe. Feel that nice opening. You can see it happening here. Take your chin, look down, keep it opening. Really good health for your neck. Breathing is really good for your muscles, helps to oxygenate them, helps them to soften while you're holding the stretch. Come back up, take your hands, reach behind you, pull back. We're gonna open up the chest, breathe into that, feel that opening across the upper chest. You can't just stretch the back, you must stretch the front. And the reason why is because your back might be hurting, but if you're really rounded forward, you need that stretch to bring the shoulders back. So the next one, cross your arms as far as you can, bring up the bottom one, bring up the top one. The elbows are gonna create a resistance and you're gonna take the, um, your shoulders and you're just gonna drop your shoulders down. So you should kind of feel this up in here. Some of you may not, but if you do, hold this, breathe into it. Um, this is a three-part stretch, so don't unwind. We're gonna go to the next step here in just a minute. And you should feel this more on one side because it focuses more on one side. So now you're gonna bring the elbows out and in front of you. So you're gonna round your upper back, open up across the shoulder blades. <sighs> Breathe into this, bring openness to the back of the body. You can feel the tension. You wanna feel a good stretch here. You don't really wanna do pain. So now we're gonna add the dropping of the shoulders keeping the elbows out. So now you should feel it really coming up the neck here. This is a great stretch for headaches, migraines. Um, you can do this stretch on its own in the shower. You can do this at work. It's probably my favorite stretch because everyone needs it. So now you're gonna switch, get the other side, balance it out. So drop the shoulders down, hold that. Breathe. You can also do this after you've done some self-massage, if you do any of that, using like a lacrosse ball. Elbows out and away from you, rounding that upper back, opening up that upper spine. Breathe. Sometimes when you do a little self-massage beforehand, it can make the stretching even easier. Such a great stretch. Then you're gonna add the dropping of the shoulders, keeping the elbows out. Again, feeling that going up the neck. And if you don't have time to do all of these stretches, 
Again, this is a great one that you can do in the shower. You really want to hold it for at least 15 seconds. Anything less than that, you're only getting really temporary relief. So that's just a nice little mini warm up for the neck and shoulders. The next stretch I want to show you involves a doorway. It's a little bit more of an intense chest opener. So in the doorway to help open up the pecs, part of what's rounding your shoulders forward, stand level in the doorway or anywhere that your arm will be straight out from your body and in the same line as your feet. Once your elbow's on the doorway, you're gonna find the bony part of your elbow. That is gonna be the resistance that goes on the doorway. You're gonna take your inside foot, you're gonna step forward into a small lunge. And when you do this lunge, you're going to bend at the knee and you're going to keep the body straight. Sometimes you wanna do it with your hips and sometimes you wanna lean forward with your body, but ideally, you're just doing a lunge with the leg. So placing the elbow straight out from the shoulder, doing a lunge forward. Naturally, your shoulders, your opposite shoulder is gonna to wanna to come um, forward. You won't really notice it. But what you do is just bring it back and you'll feel that stretch across the upper chest. Now your pec is a giant fan. There's different sections here. So we're gonna start with the upper part of the pec. We're gonna open that up in this position. Breathe, hold it, ideally 15 to 20 seconds so that you can really get the muscle fibers to release and let go. You'll straighten back up. Bring your arm up about four inches. You might have to scoot a little closer to the doorway to do this, keeping that bony part of the elbow on the doorway. Leaning forward and once you're in, rotate that shoulder back. You should feel this lower into the pec. This is a more common area where you'll feel the intensity, especially if you have those rounded shoulders. So just breathe, hang out into the stretch, really feel that opening taking place. Now you want to step so that your hip is almost touching the doorway. Your arm is going to go almost straight up, so your hand might reach above the door frame. Keeping that elbow, the bony part of the elbow on the door, you're going to lean forward. Now there's not a huge motion in this, it's not a deep lean because of the position of your arm, but you should feel this more from the shoulder coming down into the armpit or the lateral breast. Again, bring this other shoulder back so that you get the full opening of the pec. Remember to breathe. It helps the muscles to relax, helps you to sink in, and really benefit from this stretch. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure to do this on both sides. So we're gonna switch and go to the other side. So remember to line your feet up, level in the doorway, placing the bony part of the elbow onto the doorway itself, stepping forward with the inside leg just slightly doing a lunge, leaning in, and remembering to open up across the chest and bring the opposite shoulder back so that you can really feel that in the upper pec. Breathe, hold this stretch. 15 to 30 seconds is really best, but we're okay if you just do 15 seconds. That's kind of a bare minimum when it comes to stretching. <sighs> Breathing always makes it better. So now, Come back, maybe scoot in a little bit closer, come up about four inches. We're gonna do the same thing. Leaning forward, lunging into it, opening up across the chest, bringing the shoulder back, and just breathe. Feel that coming more in the middle of the pec, lower than it was the first time. You can feel this in the shoulder. Sometimes you can feel this in the upper back as your shoulder blade maybe has had trouble moving onto the back of the body previously. This is all going to help that rounding, open you back up. Breathe while you're here. You're going to step closer so that your hip is touching the doorway. Your hand might even come above it, keeping that bony part of the elbow on the doorway still. Doing a slight lunge forward, it's not a huge movement. Opening up across the chest, you'll feel it more into the armpit and the lateral breast. We're going to make you stand up straight. So breathe and hold. <laughs> All right, 
You can do this at the office. You can do this on just a wall space. You don't have to do it in a doorway. On a wall space, you'll just start with it out next to you, do the same lunge, so you don't actually need an edge to do this. So just keep that in mind, same idea. You can get this anywhere that there's a place of resistance. All right, back to the mat. Okay, so now, I'm sure you've seen this, you can bring your arm across your body. A lot of people just kind of collapse it in. It's really important to roll that shoulder down Bring this into the chest. You can really feel that opening in the deltoid on the outside of the shoulder. Breathe, hold. And then you're gonna switch. Do the other side again. Naturally, it kind of comes up. Roll it down so you can really feel that stretch pulling in there. There's a little bit of resistance. Opening up those tired shoulders. And remember to breathe. <laughs> Again, you've seen this one before. The best to your ability, trying to keep your spine straight so don't get a real swayed back here, bringing this elbow as much in a straight line as you can. If you're out to the side, that's okay, but ideally the goal is for it to be brought in. Opening up that side body. And then you're going to switch, same thing on the other side, bringing that balance, just breathe. And even though I'm seated on the floor, you can do this seated in a chair, you can do this right when you get up out of bed, you can do this standing around waiting for the fax machine. And while that isn't a lot of stretching, it's a really impactful series that you can do on a daily basis to bring relief to your chronic neck and shoulder pain, help to alleviate chronic headaches, migraines, um, give you a little bit more energy, like a little energy refresher at work. I hope that you make a habit of this. And if you do this a few times a week, you're really gonna start noticing a big difference. It's not a lot of time and a big commitment, but your body will really appreciate it. <laughs>